Learn how to fly a helicopter in Grand Theft Auto 4. Using a mouse with two additional thumb buttons and a regular keyboard. For the helicopter controls we will set the keys W, A, S, D, Control, Alt, Space, Mouse button 1, Mouse button 2, Thumb button 1 and Thumb button 2. Press and hold the right mouse button and move the mouse to look around. If you don't hold the right mouse button, your camera cannot be moved anymore. Instead, your mouse movements will move the helicopter. You can press the space bar to get a temporary first person view. The first person view gives you a crosshair, which makes it easier to aim at your targets. Press W to accelerate. And S to decelerate the rotor speed of your helicopter. Press D to pitch to the right and press A to pitch to the left. Press CTRL to rotate left and ALT to rotate right. While flying you will use your little finger to press CTRL and your thumb to press ALT. Note that I'm holding the right mouse button permanently to being able to look around all the time. Press the two thumb buttons on your mouse to pitch backwards and forwards. While in mid-air, press and hold the spacebar and use the mouse to aim with your helicopter. Because of the weight of the helicopter, the aim feels a bit heavy. Now let's take the helicopter for a ride. Using all the previous shown controls, you can, with a bit practice, maneuver the helicopter through almost all terrain. Like bridges, downtown, and more bridges. Even the same bridge twice. Let's go for an assault. Release the right mouse button. Now press and hold space. Aim and shoot at your target. Vehicles take fire quickly just after some single shots. The first person view is an easy way to lock and eliminate your targets. This is Haley Tools 1. I'm going down. Watch out. You can lose control of your helicopter in the first person view. Change quickly back to third person and correct your helicopter position. Then go back in first person and finish your enemy off. Alright, let's land this bird. Now the free mouse view comes in very handy. You can exactly see how much distance there is between the landing spot and the helicopter. Also you can see how much you must adjust your helicopter position to land it correctly on the landing spot. 